the electric vehicle which President William Ruto settled for during the Africa Climate Summit consumes 2 shillings per kilometer and takes 740 shillings for a full charge, according to Green Africa Foundation, parent company of the manufacturer Autopax Ayechu. While appearing as a panelist on Citizen TV, the foundation owner Isaac Kalyu advocated for electric cars as the future of transportation, emphasizing their cost-effective measures and potential to revolutionize the industry. He said that a distance from Nairobi to Thika, an average of 45 kilometers, used 90 shillings while from Nairobi to Kisamu, it consumed 708 shillings. According to Dr. Kalua, President Ruto used a total of KSH-10 for a single trip from State House, Nairobi to the Kenyatu International Convention Center, using a fraction of the 300-kilometer range available on a full electric charge. He added that the vehicle, which is produced by Autopax Limited, has received 314 orders in two days since Ruto used it in the past three days with 100 of the orders requesting a car similar to what Ruto drove. The car is manufactured in Luzu, China and assembled in Nairobi. According to Dr. Kalua, the car costs an average of 1.7 million. Kalua also revealed that the decision by President Ruto to use the car during summit happened by chance. He clarified that the vehicle's choice of yellow was coincidental and was not politically linked, owing to United Democratic Alliance primary color during the Africa Climate Summit, Ruto broke protocol and drove himself using the electric vehicle. According to State House spokesperson Hussein Mohammed, Ruto made the unconventional choice to show his commitment to adopting electric vehicles. The Africa Climate Summit focused on addressing the global and African-specific impacts of climate change.